Welcome to Tractor Talk. My name is James Crouch. I'm the Senior Product Manager for the Compact Tractor line here at Bobcat. Today we're going to talk about a few options that Bobcat has for harnessing your tractor's horsepower. Uh, we're going to talk about transmission types and PTO. Uh, we have four different transmission options for you. The first two are going to be hydrostatic. So the first one is going to be a, just a standard hydrostatic transmission, which is hydraulic controlled. Uh, very, very convenient to use. It's really easy to learn. Uh, uses a standard uh, forward and reverse pedal that are independent, which is uh, really intuitive and easy to use. The second transmission type we're going to talk about is offered on our largest platform of tractor, which is an electric hydrostat. So the electric hydrostat, it operates the same way as the standard hydrostatic, except the input is actually electric. So very, very little resistance in those pedals makes it really easy to use and gives you a ton of versatility in what you can do. Uh, next, we'll talk about the manual options that we have. We have two different manual transmission types. Uh, first one being a nine by three, so a nine forward and three reverse gears. Uh, and it operates like a traditional tractor. You have to completely depress your, your clutch and come to a complete stop to shift and, and select your gear. Once you find that gear and find your target RPM and speed, you never have to touch it again. Uh, second option there is, is a very popular eight by eight, so eight forward and eight reverse gears, and it's a synchro shuttle. So it operates very similar to a pickup truck. Uh, you can be in motion, depress the clutch, select the gear you need, and make changes on the fly. If you're a first-time tractor buyer, a term that you're going to hear quite often is PTO. PTO stands for power takeoff. Uh, the power takeoff or PTO of a tractor is really its lifeline. It's the shaft that comes out of the back of the tractor that has, a, that has a protective shield over the top. And that's where you hook your linkages up and you hook your power to whatever your, your implement is. So if you're going to run a mower, you would connect that mower's drive line to your PTO on the tractor to power that unit. The first PTO option we're going to discuss is the live PTO system. The live PTO system is a gear-driven PTO system that provides constant power to the rear of the machine. In order to engage or disengage, you need to come to a complete stop and fully depress the clutch. The second option we're going to discuss is the independent. Uh, the independent uses a separate clutch pack, which allows you to flip a switch and engage or disengage the PTO while in motion. It's very simple, very convenient. A good example of when you would use an independent PTO is something like a post hole digger where you're constantly turning on and off the PTO. With an independent system you can do that without having to come to a complete stop or depress any clutches. I'd like to discuss our mid-PTO options as well. Uh, we have a mid-PTO that's standard on our subcompact tractor and it's available as a dealer installed option on everything else except three models. What it allows you to do is it allows you to connect a belly mower or a mid-mount mower. Uh, we offer it in a 60 inch to allow you to cut wider acreages and it really turns this tractor into an extremely versatile machine. Now we want to focus on two key features of the Bobcat Compact Tractor. First one of those features being the rear remote hydraulics. Uh, they're standard on this model, they're offered on all Bobcat tractors whether it comes standard or as a dealer install option. What you use these for is to power your implements. So let's say you have a snow blower hooked to your three point hitch and you need to move the discharge chute. This is where that would get power. Uh, the second thing we wanted to talk about is this three point control lever. This is a very simple mechanism and really reliable mechanism for raising and lowering your three-point hitch without having to get back on the tractor and manipulate the lever from the seat. It really makes hooking up three-point implements a lot easier. I'd like to take a minute to talk about the telescopic lower links on our three-point system of our cab tractors. Hooking up a three-point implement can be pretty challenging, but with the telescopic lower link, there's a lever on top. You push the lever down and the the end of that three-point arm will actually come out, so you have a little more maneuverability when hooking up the lower links on your three-point attachment. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more tractor videos.